Today I'm out here with Jonathan. Jonathan, how long you been homeless? How long you been doing blues? I've been homeless about four years now. I've been on blues for about a year. And how'd you get started with blues, Jonathan? Hanging around the wrong people homeless. And just, just the wrong crowd. It just happens, you know. And uh, how does your family feel about you being out here? Well, they're, they're my kind of, I don't really have much family, but the family I do have left does not like me being out here on blues. You have children? Yes. I have a seven-year-old son and I have an 11-year-old daughter. And where are they at? My daughter's back in Pennsylvania and my son is with CPS out here. Child Protective Services because yes. um, because of blues? Because uh, I'm in homeless and on doing drugs, yes. Have you been in treatment to try to get uh, better and get, be reunited with your children? Um, I didn't take that step yet, but uh, I would like to start to get the treatment, yes. I noticed that uh, you're with the you have a, a wheelchair. What's uh, you have medical stuff going on? Yes, I need my right hip replaced, and it's so past due. It's messing with my left hip. It's making my legs swell up, so it's kind of hard for me to get around. I'm supposed to be in the chair, not pushing it, but since I have all my belongings in there, so I kind of have to push it. Yeah, I noticed you walking. You walk with like a really bad limp, yes. and your legs are swollen. Mm -hmm. Can we? Yeah, badly swollen. And that, what's that medical condition called again? Idiopathic osteosporosis. What does that mean? It's basically saying they don't know why I need my hips replaced. They just, they just like, my cartilage disintegrated. So I basically I'm walking on bone on bone. So you're in pain? Very painful. And do you need to get onto a, like a list to get them replaced or how yeah, does that work? There will be a waiting list once I get onto, once I get my insurance and stuff. I have to get my IDs and everything to get my insurance. Are you in the process of doing all that stuff and getting help? Well, I'm trying, I'm reaching out. So yeah, I'm reaching out. So, um, did you have like your medical issue before you started the blues or it yes, was after? Yes, I did, but it wasn't as bad as it is now. By doing the blues, it got worse. So, so it's just getting worse and worse, yes. and it's going to get worse, right? Yes. It's not going to get better it's on its own. Get better. As long as I keep doing blues. Once I put the blues down, I, everything will get better. So does that motivate you a little bit to, to get clean? Yes. Have you put any steps uh, forward to get get clean? Um, yeah, I, I'm working on it. You know, I'm kind of on probation right now, so probation's working with me. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, that's that's good that you have, you know, something. The ball's rolling in, in some way, shape, or fashion. To you got a lot of things that you got to get your kids back. Got to get clean. Got to replace your hips. I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on, right? Yes, a lot going on. And is blues helping or hurting? No, it's making everything worse. That's the one thing. Don't ever get on blues. Why? It's the worst drug that you can ever, ever get on. Because once to the point that you don't want to do it no more, you have to. And then your body will start hurting. You just have to do it just for you to get, get to maneuver around. Even though you don't want to do it, you still have to do it. Unless you go through that weekly detox, which is very, very bad. best bet is if you're ever on blues get into a program and get off yeah it seems like uh jonathan you've lost everything uh everything uh due to blues and the only thing you have left is is your life and that's worth a lot yes. right because yes. you have uh, two children that need a dad and you're out here you know stuck in this lifestyle and you know don't get discouraged though you know i mean there you sound hopeful you sound like you you want change you know you want to do better for yourself and um you just have to you know what you have to do because you're you're already grown you know 
uh, as I mentioned to you but, uh, before we started uh, recording was the purpose of this channel is to create prevention through awareness right you know that there's a lot of youngsters out here what's the youngest you've seen out here in the streets 13 13. Yeah, I mean that's 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 a fact because uh, I asked different people. Yeah, 12 year olds. There's you know 13 year olds, 14 year olds, 15 year olds. Uh, you're not exaggerating, and uh, it's it's just sad, right? Because that's that's the age of your daughter, right? Yeah, and so yes. yeah, so I mean it's one thing for you to do it, but knowing that there's young people out here that the age of your children that's that's heartbreaking. So so I'll give you a lot of credit that you you you. Um, chose uh, to uh, share your story to help the community right so uh, I think somebody's gonna watch this and be like wow you know I don't want to end up like Jonathan go through those trials so I'll just won't start it to begin with right when uh, friends come knocking about peer pressure and try this what's what should be their answer Jonathan just stay clean basically don't do drugs mainly blues right yes because that will ruin your life Definitely. Wow, what are you, where do you think you'll be in the next three months, Jonathan? Hopefully not dead, hopefully clean and sober. And uh, I'm confident that you can, uh, you can get clean and, and avoid, you know, all that bad stuff because uh, you seem, you know, like your intention is to really get, get through treatment, right? Yes. So Jonathan, I'm gonna hand you some donated items. Here's another package, but can you do me a favor and read what it says right there? You know what you need to do, but it's not going to be easy. I'm asking God to give you the confidence to move forward and courage to take that first step. That's right. Yes. And Here's a donated a $10 gift card to Walmart. Uh, you mentioned that you need some items from Walmart, socks and stuff like that, right? Yes, Things hygiene. that I don't have, hygiene items, right? So uh, you promise you're, that's what you're gonna use it for, right? Yes, hygiene, socks. I mean, I don't have any socks on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, Jonathan, thank you very much for sharing your story. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, I gave you my contact information. You contact me if you need help, you need a ride, you need to talk to somebody, you're not alone. Uh, next time I see you, I hope that you're doing better, okay? Yes. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you.